Okay, dear students. In case of a binary liquid mixture, we have ideal solutions, non-ideal solutions. In non-ideal solutions, there are two types. Non-ideal solutions which shows positive deviation and the non-ideal solutions which shows negative deviation. And let me plot a graph of vapor pressure versus mole fraction for an ideal solution. Uh, for any ideal solution, the way a graph of vapor pressure versus mole fraction, it becomes a straight line. And remember, so in at this particular point, it is a good component A, therefore the mole fraction of A is equal to 1. At this particular point, the uh, component A is 0. Whereas at this particular point, the component D is 0. And as we move uh, in this direction, the component D goes on increases. And this particular point is having a pure component B. Therefore, and this particular curve, this is along this curve, the component D goes on increases. Therefore, PB is equal to P naught B into XP. And this curve represents PA is equal to P naught A into XA. And this P total is equal to PA plus PB. Right? For an ideal solution, which obeys Rose's law at all temperature and concentration, a graph of vapor pressure versus small fraction is a straight line which is passing through the origin. Right? Whereas coming to a non ideal solution, which is not obeying no slot at all temperature and concentration. In case if it shows a positive deviation from Rose's law, then when we plot a graph of vapor pressure versus mole fraction, remember the dotted line represents the expected vapor pressure according to Rose's law. Whereas practically when we determine and plot a graph of vapor pressure versus mole fraction, the observed vapor pressure is always more when compared to theoretically expected vapor pressure from Rose's law. When the observed vapor pressure is more when compared to theoretically expected vapor pressure from Rose's law, then a graph of vapor pressure versus small fraction shows a maxima. Shows a maxima. So the dotted line is the one which is expected from Rose's law. Whereas when compared to this, I remember this is always more. I mean to say the observed vapor pressure is always more when compared to the vapor pressure which is expected from Rose's law. As a result, a graph of vapor pressure versus small fraction shows a maxima. Then we used to say that this binary liquid mixture, which is not obeying Rose's law, is showing positive deviation. Whereas coming to an another type of binary liquid mixture, of course, which is again a non-ideal solution, which is deviating from Rose's law. In this case, what happens? The dotted line again represents the vapor pressure which is expected from Rose's law. That is the water, the theoretical expectation. Whereas practically when we determine the vapor pressure and when we plot a graph of vapor pressure versus small fraction, remember the observed vapor pressure is always less when compared to the initially expected vapor pressure. Yeah, such binary liquid pressure which is deviating from Rouse law, which is not obeying Rouse law, when a graph of vapor pressure versus small fraction, if it shows a minima, I mean to say, when the observed vapor pressure is less when compared to the uh, vapor pressure which is expected from Rouse law, then we used to say that that binary liquid mixture, which is a non ideal solution, shows negative deviation from Rouse law. In case of a non ideal solution, which shows positive deviation from Rouse law, the vapor pressure is more and the boiling point is less. I mean to say, the mixture boils relatively at low temperature when compared to either of the two components. Whereas in case of a non-ideal solution which shows negative deviation from Rouse's law, the observed vapor pressure is less. As a result, the mixture boils relatively at higher temperature where when compared to the boiling points of either of the two components. I mean to say, when the vapor pressure is more, the boiling point becomes less. 
So in uh, that case, when the vapor pressure becomes less, the boiling point becomes more. So both of these two are the non-ideal solutions. Whereas this is for positive deviation, and this one is for negative deviation. Remember, two such examples are a mixture of ethyl alcohol and water is a non-ideal solution which shows positive deviation from Brown's law. And the a mixture of methyl alcohol and water shows again a positive deviation from Brown's law. Whereas a mixture of HCl and water, HNO3 and water is again a binary liquid mixture which doesn't obey Brown's law but it shows negative deviation from Brown's law. Negative deviation means the observed vapor pressure is less and the boiling point is more. Whereas positive deviation means the observed vapor pressure is more and the boiling point is less. So this is a brief about uh, the vapor pressure composition curve of an ideal solution. Vapor pressure composition curve of a non-ideal solution which shows positive deviation from Brown's law. Vapor pressure composition curve of a non-ideal solution which shows negative deviation from Brown's law. Okay.